Thousands of Qualcomm employees went to work today, no longer facing the threat of Broadcom's hostile takeover. President Trump blocked the move just about 24 hours ago. But new at 5 o'clock, our tenders reporter John Horn explains why Qualcomm still has a tough road ahead. One Qualcomm worker told me off camera that many of his colleagues are relieved, but there are still plenty of uncertainties facing San Diego's tech giant. Well, I think everyone in San Diego is breathing a sigh of relief today. Nikia Clark's job is a lot easier when Qualcomm is at its best. We all know how important Qualcomm is to this community and to the fabric of innovation that we've built here. Clark is VP of the San Diego Regional Economic Development Corporation. It recruits leading edge companies to San Diego and supports training technology workers to fill the jobs. Qualcomm has so long been an anchor of that innovation economy and as our largest employer, of course, everyone in the region and certainly all of us here in the office were, were watching very closely. They were watching as Singapore-based tech company Broadcom aggressively pushed to take over Qualcomm. President Trump blocked it Monday, citing national security concerns. Because there's enough stuff that the company has to deal with, you know, instead of worrying about who is at the back of us. Hurdles do remain. Qualcomm still in a legal battle with Apple and has faced international fines for alleged anti-competitive practices. Just last week, Executive Chairman Paul Jacobs stepped down. There'll be big changes here in San Diego for Qualcomm, but there always are, and that's why they've remained the powerhouse that they are. Analysts expect Qualcomm to focus on developing 5G and acquiring the NXP semiconductor company to boost its bottom line. John Horn, 10 News. The regional Economic Development Corporation recently released new numbers about Qualcomm's impact on San Diego. Get this, the organization says that Qualcomm has 13,000 employees locally. It made a $4.9 billion annual economic impact in 2017. That's the equivalent to 35 Comic-Cons.